will win. <laughs> Very good. The enemy is always watching. Want to know about clans? Tap the main menu. Tap the clan button here. You would do well to join the clan that matches your beliefs. You'll find that there are many benefits to membership. Oops, here I am suggesting you join a clan without even explaining what clans are. The key aspects of clans are Castle Siege and Fortress Siege, where you can battle other clans over various castles and fortresses. And that's not all. When you're in a clan, you can reap benefits from buffs, the clan shop, clan quests, and rewards. Let's look at how to join clans. This is how you join clans. Anyone can choose a clan leader they believe in and work together to reach the top. If you like the look of one of these clan leaders, tap Apply. I'm excited to see what clan you'll join. Or maybe you'll strike out on your own and become the leader of a new powerful clan. Trust me! How about drink sometime? Is it ready? Chief, this is the object you spoke of. Great. We no longer need this human monument.
End it with a clean finish. You did well. We are justice. Have you heard about the Tower of Insolence? Every adventurer in Aiden should enter it at least one. Well then, let's try the Tower of Insolence now. You can enter the Tower of Insolence through the dungeon menu. Do you see the infinitely tall tower? That is the Tower of Insolence. The Tower of Insolence was constructed by Emperor Bayon of El Moradin in defiance of the God. Although it was once called the Tower of Eternity, enraged with wrath, the god Ein Hasad filled it with monster. The higher you climb in the tower, the stronger the monsters you'll encounter, and the better the treasures you'll find. Curious? At present you should be able to at least clear the first floor. Not too shabby. For each floor you've already cleared, you can acquire additional rewards once per day using auto Here you can check the auto-clear reward for each floor. You can acquire rune fragments using auto-clear. Think of it as a key to improve your combat ability. I'll teach you more the next time I see you. Good to see you. I'll teach you how to use rune fragments to become stronger. The process is called rune imp... Rune imprinting is a means of directly improving your character. Use this to try out rune imprinting for yourself. Through rune imprinting, the abilities of each rune become yours permanently. Rune imprinting requires rune fragments. Yes, indeed. Those things you acquire through auto-clearing the Tower of Insul- We'll perform the most basic kind of rune imprint. You can check here to see the materials required for rune imprinting. Now, give rune imprinting a try. 
Since this is your first time, I'll provide you with the materials necessary. The preparations are ready. Try imprinting. Did you notice the large rune in the middle? That is the core rune. The core rune level increases when all the runes on each page are imprinted to the same team. Remember, core runes grant many more stats than ordinary runes do. As you've noticed, this is the core rune. Core runes grant many stats that you can look forward to. And finally, these aren't all the runes that can be imprinted. You can use this to unlock more rune pages. You can imprint more diverse and powerful runes as you gain access to more pages. However, all runes on a page need to be imprinted a level greater than level 1 in order to unlock the next page. Rune imprinting draws out powerful abilities, so it requires adequate preparation. Well then, I look forward to seeing how strong you'll become through the power of rune imprinting. something?